guys. Holly Brady House yes. coming at you. Robert and Jonna, we uh, we just caught Jax, as a matter of fact, Finley, so uh, we don't have him to worry about no more. But uh, we did load Sally up and uh, uh, Trey Pod, and we're going to take them up here. And uh, we're going to go on a quick hunt tonight, though, guys, because I, I don't know how it's supposed to bear nothing to you. Really what planning on going, the only reason we got ready is because Jax was gone, and we thought we was going to have to go find him. Yeah. And he ended up walking through the door as soon as, as we soon, was ready we to walk, walk out. out. Yeah. So, so uh, it was good timing. But. Yeah, so we decided to take them on up the holler for a minute, see if we couldn't get after one. We'll catch you in the woods. Guys, we made it up here. John is getting ready to cut the hounds. She's getting Sally out first. Uh, that's the one we got from Finley River. We uh, brought her tonight. She's gained a lot of weight, looking great. Look at her. She's looking so healthy. Ain't got that knot on her no more. She's looking good, guys. Well, hopefully, hopefully she'll make us a good one. We're going to turn the uh, tray pod loose now. John will get him started in front of the truck. Because he's a handful, man. Three legs or not, he is a handful. Come on, Sally. Watch him, man. Come on, Sally. Sally. I don't know where she went. But. Here, Sally. Sally, girl. Yeah, go ahead and cut him. Go ahead and cut him. Just cut him. He's gone, buddy. And Sally's missing out because she's hanging at the back of the truck. But. She's hanging at the. Sally! Well, guys, she's starting down the holler, so I'm going to have to do something. We'll catch back up with you in just a second. Guys, uh, Traypod and Sally uh, just uh, treed in at 115, 16 yards away. Right here they are. Uh, well, it ain't actually showing Trey treed right now. He must be getting down, but Sally is. No, Trey's got Trey's, Jax's on. Yeah, right. Sally's got Traypod's on. So it ain't showing her treed right now, but they are treed, guys. And, uh, we're gonna we're gonna head in there to them. We'll catch you at the tree. Hello, guys. It's uh, Robert and John again. We're on our second drop. I'll be honest with you. Uh, Trey tree there a while ago, like we said. But we uh, we went to him. Sally went in there with him and tried to tree a little bit. But uh, uh, I'll be honest. I believe he just straight up sleep tree. Yeah. It's, it's raining right now. Um, you know, I don't know. Well, it is what it is, though, yeah. guys. He did not have a coon. He uh, was jumping tree to tree. I think he just got a little excited, pulled up too short. That's what I believe. It's but, sad uh, but yeah, it's sad but true. It happens. But, guys, we're going to gonna cut him and Sally loose here and see if we can't get after one. Uh, we'll be back with you if they get struck. See you in a minute. Okay, what happened is when we turned them out, they went a mile. And oh, wow. are you done? Yeah, let's get out of okay, here. Okay, <laughs> Rob just got the dogs. We tell what tell what not happened. They uh, they come yeah, over so from uh, right fork, cross over into cross over into left fork, which is the the road like beside of ours, and adjacent. It, uh, of ours. I didn't get to shine or nothing, guys, because it's uh, after one o'clock in the morning. And they're behind somebody's and they're right house. They're right behind somebody's house. I had to climb their gate. So as uh, of right now, I mean, I mean, we're not even sure. I don't know what they done. I'll be honest. What they done? They was both treed for quite a while though. I climbed the gate, walked through their bottom, climbed their fence up there, got to him, and just put him on a lead, put him over the fence, come back and climb their gate again, put him in the truck. So, uh, and Sally, when we first pulled up, she comes, so I jerked her over the gate put her in the box but uh yeah we're getting out of here guys sorry we couldn't film it sorry we didn't get the tree but uh that's how it goes sometimes when they end up on somebody's property so yeah we're gonna get out of here though we'll uh see you on the next one bye guys guys uh we uh just gonna let you know we just made it back home i was gonna give you a, a quick recap of the night we uh got up there and we took well first of all we took trey and sally and we made that first drop. Trey got in there and got treed. Sally went in there and treed a little bit with him, but but not really. I mean, because we had trouble. She kind of got separated from him because at first, 
when we cut him loose, he went up the holler and she tried to go down the holler, didn't mm -hmm. she? But uh, after they, after we went there, we found out he was slick. And I'll just be honest, guys. I we just we couldn't see it, and there were trees just circling us. Yeah, and we looked and we couldn't see it. They so wasn't nothing there though, guys. They wasn't nothing there. He just pulled up too quick. I, up. I was pissed at him. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even record it. I was just aggravated, and we got him to come on off the hill. We went up there and made the second it's drop. And I'll guarantee they had a coon this time, though, guys. They got up there, and they crossed over, and they got deep. I mean, I'm talking about they got deep. Over a mile. We had to drive from right fork all the way to left fork, all the way out and all the way up to the head to get them. And they was treed right in. I mean, I'm talking about right behind somebody's house. I didn't shine it. I didn't do nothing. No, I done. Like 120 in the morning. Yeah, I just told John, I said, listen, it's like almost 130. Just sit here in the truck. Let me go to them. Because I, when we first pulled up, Sally come to me, so I grabbed her and pulled her up over the fence. Loaded her up. Well, when I did that, I had to go and t I told John to sit in the truck and I went and climbed, climbed in people's fence. Don't have a clue who they are, so I was, you know, I was worried. That's why I told her to sit in the truck. So I climbed the fence and walked through the field, uh, through their backyard, and then there was another fence I had to climb up over. I climbed up over it and put him on a dog lead, and he was a tree and every breath he could draw. And Sally was a tree and great too until we, until, until we put up there and cut the truck off. And uh, yeah, we heard. Yeah, we heard them. Yeah, she was. They was both tree and great. Yeah. And. Uh, but anyways, I just hooked him on the lead, didn't shine it, didn't do nothing. Uh, pulled him across the fence. We needed to get out of there completely. Right. So. I pulled him across the fence because it, it, it started raining at that time. And uh, then I come back, climbed the gate, pulled him back across the gate, loaded him up, and come home. He was so tired because it had been like two hours. As a matter of fact, um, they were so far out. We're not far from our second drop, so we come home. And Rob ate a little bit, and we went back up to where they were, which was, it, so far we couldn't even pick them up. Um, yeah. You know, my grandma wouldn't even pick them up. I, yeah, it took me a minute to figure out where they was even at. I had to I had to look at that garment and study it for a minute to figure out where they was at, chase the roads down. Because, uh, and then I told her, I said, they're right on the road, but they're around left for it, which is a long, long ways from where we was, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So we had to go down, we had to go out of our row on the main road and get back over, you know, to the road that's right, you know, beside us, pretty much. But normally, guys, I would have went and knocked on those people's door and asked for permission to go up there. But he was right, I mean, they was right there. I could see him from where we parked. And it was 1.30 in the morning, and I'm sure people didn't want me knocking on their door. So I just snuck in there real quick, grabbed him, and snuck out. But uh, it is what We're it is. our dogs regardless, though. Yeah, it is what it is. Sometimes you can't help things like that, but that's I, what happened, guys. I, you know, we're sorry we you know, yeah, didn't get to. I hate I didn't get a coon tonight, guys. But you know, I'm gonna give. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna give Kentucky Cooner a shout yes. out. He's one of my Number good buddies. Four, he Cody. Help, he helps us any way he can. I want to give uh, Timber Hill, Natural State Houndsman, Finley River Kennel, Finley Jr., Finley Jr., Fossil Creek Kennels. Uh, Mike Humphrey, I want to give all them people a big shout out because that's some of my, some of some of our most most loyal and faithful followers, yes. ain't it? Yes, and, and we love you guys very much. Yes, we do. Great, great people, guys, and we appreciate everything you all Central do for State us. Yeah, there's so many of them that we can't even think if right now. We forgot now. anyone. We are so sorry. There's a lot of a lot of new ones we're following now that uh, I can't even remember the names of them, guys. There's so many of them, but. But anyways, yeah, if, if I forget anybody, I'm sorry. But uh, anyways, that is what it is. But uh, until next time, guys. Those hands. Bye.